Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the User of Bricks channel. Uh, today we are going to create some custom doors, just like this one. It opens, it closes, has a top and a bottom. It has all four uh, sides that all open and close. And yeah, when you break either the top or the bottom, it breaks as well. Uh, this is a redoing of a previous tutorial. So I had a previous tutorial, but it was super long. It was like a, a bit over an hour, I believe. This one is a lot simpler than that one and uh, a lot easier too. So, let's get in. Okay, so as you can see before me, there are four blocks and five uh, procedures. This is all you'll be needing for uh, to complete this tutorial. And I will have the uh, workspace posted to my Patreon. So if you want that, head over there. And yeah, so let's get into this. So the first thing you'll need is some models. Uh, for your, you'll need an open model and a closed model. And let's go into my resources so I can show you the models. I have an open and a closed. Uh, the open is orientated on the north side of the block. So if you're in block bench, that's the side of the grid that has the N with the arrow. And, uh, oh, maybe they don't have the arrow anymore. Eh, whatever. It's the north side anyway. And then I believe, yeah, the open side I have on the, uh, I believe it's the west side. Either way, um, it, the closed is on the uh, so 0.18 ah, so it's on the uh, x uh, negative x side of the block so if you're in Minecraft and you hit F3 it'll show you facing uh positive or, or negative x or z uh, this you you if you face uh, negative z and uh, sorry not negative z negative x uh, that is the side of the block that you want your closed model to be on to be able to follow this tutorial uh, all the way I will not be building everything here for you I am just going to show you how I did it so, as I said before, there are the four block models. Uh, the top and, and the bottom are pretty much just, they're the same model, it's just one has the bottom texture and one has the top texture. So for the top, door open, it's the default mapping, and then you can see door open, bottom mapping. And then for the close, it's the same thing and all of that. So then next for the uh, dimensions, uh, you will want to go to your max Z chord and you might want to fiddle around with this. I suggest using a trick I use, which is dividing one uh, by 16. If you didn't know already, each block uh, texture in vanilla Minecraft is made up of a texture that's 16 by 16. So dividing 1 by 16 gives you the pixel width uh, for each pixel. And then you can multiply that number by whatever, however thick your block model uh, is. So in my case that would be 3. Um, so multiplying uh, 
0.0625 by 3 gets me 1.875, but M Creator doesn't use uh, four digits, it only uses three. So if you're using three pixel width doors like vanilla or I am here, then just use 0.188. On the next page, you can pretty much do whatever you want here. It, uh, as far as I know, it doesn't affect your block too much. It'll just be the stuff you want. So your material, your sound, the creative inventory, the name, um, and so stuff like that. Actually, the top, I'm not wanting it to be in a creative inventory. Eh, why not leave it in, a, in building blocks? It doesn't make a difference, really, except for in creative mode, of course. So, for the next page, uh, again, do whatever you want. This page, I would not suggest uh, doing any anything with this page. I mean, you can, but uh, it could get a little complicated at times. The next page is where you'll need two uh, procedures for the open states. Um, uh, yeah, for the open states, you can just use the uh, same procedure, I believe. Uh, yeah, so for the open, it's the same thing. Uh, or, sorry, for both top states, not open states, top states. So, if this is the right-clicked procedure, so if you click the uh, door open top, it'll change the top to closed, and keep state and inventory. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to show you. At the first page, you will want to... Uh, Add the y-axis rotation uh, from player side, of course. And uh, yeah, so let's get back to that procedure. And it's pretty much just the same for the top closed state. It changes the top to open and the bottom to open as well. Of course, this is using the replace block this allows you to keep a rotation state. That's why we have an open and closed state. The open and closed state have the same rotation, but because of how we have the model and the uh, bounding box, it will you will see it in a different spot, depending on if it's open or closed, which is handy in this case. So that is that procedure. And then for the on block destroyed, uh, this one is the same for the top uh, blocks. Um, and it checks if it's a closed bottom or a open bottom on the block below. So Y minus one. And then it removes the block at Y minus one or the bottom block of the door. That is very crucial as Otherwise, you will have stuff falling. Uh, well, you will be able to break the top, and then the bottom will still be there. Uh, there is the opposite procedure for the close as well, and I shall show you that uh, later. Uh, for the next page, you can make it spawn. I don't suggest doing that. I leave that alone, as it wouldn't make sense to having door... Uh, Falling. And I realize now there's one thing I forgot, and it, it's the custom drop. So I have my item block set to my, uh, I believe it's the uh, bottom open. So you want it to do that. You don't want these to be affected by silk touch either. Otherwise, in the survival experience, it would just go a little weird. That's 
pretty much the general gist for all of the blocks. Uh, same with, it's pretty much the same with the closed top. Uh, if we go to the procedures, that should be the only thing that's different. Uh, the destroyed is the same as the open state, it's just the on right clicked is different. Um, is it different? Should be different. No, it isn't different. Was this one different? No, it isn't different. Never mind. Both are the same for uh, the top of the blocks. So, yeah, so pretty much the uh, closed top. Let me do this real quick. The both tops, so the open and the closed blocks, are the, pretty much exactly the same. They just have a different model and bounding box. Now, for the bottoms, uh, the simpler of the two is the uh, closed bottom. Uh, so, again, this first section is pretty much the same. It's just different model and different uh, bounding box. So we go to the next page. I need to add in the correct item drop. And then in procedures, let me show you the closed block procedures. It's pretty much the same thing as the open ones. It's just opposite. So if you, for the right clicked procedure, if you click on the open bottom, it'll change the uh, bottom to closed and the top to closed as well, and vice versa for the uh, closed bottom and the open bottom. That procedure is the same for both closed uh, blocks, and then the open, uh, sorry, not open, uh, destroyed by player procedure. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, remove block at, if if the top, except it's uh, checking for y plus one. So if the y plus one is the open or the closed top version, of course, then remove block at y plus one. And that is it for both procedures for the uh, door uh, close uh, bottom, the door bottom blocks. However, the uh, open bottom has an added procedure. Um, I want to show you it. It looks like, oh yeah, I, there's another thing I did do just to make it look a little better. If you noticed uh, previously, the item for this door doesn't have a 3D block model, and yet you don't see an item here. That's because I did block the code, and I changed the uh, item model. So if we go into item, it has the uh, this uh, uh, model. This is the pretty much the code behind the model. How I got this code is I pretty much created an item with the uh, texture I wanted and then looked at its uh, uh, model. And then I went into resources, assets, your uh, mod name, and then models, item, and then it would will be in there. Uh, according to how you named your block and whatnot. So I'm going to copy this real quick so I can change it back later. And I will unlock the code. Unfortunately, that'll overwrite uh, the, what I had done previously to uh, model-wise. So let's go look at that uh, third procedure that hit, this has. It's an on block added procedure. And if we look inside it, 
it's pretty simple. It places an open uh, door top if y plus one is air. And then it sets the direction of the uh, top block to the, this current block's position. So that's all fine and dandy. So we can save that and then save changes. We can actually need to go in here. So I did change that. And I'm just looking at the block uh, drops. So I want it to drop itself. It is not touchable. Save changes and then I can uh, that was weird. Lock the code again. Open up the item model. So the entire thing. Paste that back in. Save it. Close. And if we hit play, we will find the actual uh, thing in game. We will be able to see the door in game. I shall see you after the game has loaded. Okay, here we are in game, and as you can see, we have the door. As you saw in the intro, you can place it uh, all four different uh, rotations. It opens and closes. Uh, the one thing different between this and the vanilla door is that you, if you place right next to it, it doesn't uh, connect. The way to fix that is just to place it uh, 90 degrees, close it, and then you have your uh, double door. So, voila. That is the door. Um, yeah, that is the entirety of how to create a door. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, simple tutorial. If you did, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.